Hey everyone, happy Friday, it's Lisa. I hope you've had a great week. It has gone by so fast, but I'm glad. Um, I am gonna just get right to sharing what I got this week. Um, I watched a great tutorial on Bridget Bardot, and it was Anna, the Style Diet, and she did a great job. She did the hair, the makeup, the clothes, everything, and I love Bridget Bardot, so I, remembered that my Ulta sells the bourgeois and she used a shadow and what made me want it um, is that she said it was a black but it was kind of a bluish black and that it was um, not very pigmented and a lot of times I'd like to use a black shadow but mine like the MAC shadows and like my hourglass black shadow that I just think is so pretty they're so um, pigmented that sometimes it's hard to because I've come to the conclusion that's really the best way to get a um, like a dark gray is just to blend out the black to not get the you know real blue look and um, so anyway I went straight to Ulta and got what I thought she was using but it's not this is the um, Nora Cobalt which I guess is like a black blue and it is really pretty. I really do like it. But I went back and looked at her video, and hers is a little different. And um, they don't have that one at our Ulta. But when I was looking at these, the um, manager told me that they were getting rid of this line in my Ulta. So I don't know if that's like a, you know, Ulta thing across the board or just mine. So you might want to just go look at this um, brand. But one thing, it's weird. This is, I think, a cheaper brand in other countries. And, like, this shadow, I think, was... 1650 or something here so it isn't very cheap here but I like it and I guess I can swatch it for you so you can see it's still pretty it's just um, a little bit more blue than I had planned on it looking but when I wore it I liked it so it was no big deal I didn't want to take it back or anything um, then um, I told you guys I've been watching uh, Donna, Donna Shorts won her videos a lot, and one of the things that she used that just caught my attention, um, of course a lot of them did, but um, are the Sue Devitt pencils, and I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen her use these, and so I ended up, I don't have Sue Devitt at my Ulta, I didn't even realize there was, you know, some Ultas that have it, but I looked online, and there is Sue Devitt at Ulta online, um, but these pencils, I got four of them. I got um, Surratt, um, Tanzania, Chiang Mai, and Victoria Falls. These are what I have been looking for so long. These are like a combination of shade sticks, um, that terrible little um, cover girl, the little shadow blast or whatever, the shadow pencil, and... Um, what else? Oh, the NYX pencils. It's kind of like a combination of, of all of those. And what is so great about these is you have the option of getting a, using them as a liner in your waterline or wherever or as a shadow. And then you can smear them out and they last. They're, um, I don't know if they're considered waterproof. Let's see, made in Germany. Um, I know they're water resistant, but you have, a, I think she said like... Um, 45 seconds or you know like a minute to smear it out and then it sets and it does not move so you can really use these as shadows bases or liner and it's just fun to work with them because like I've said before you can start off I like to start off with like a bare minerals um, shadow like Celestine bare skin um, let's see uh, nude beach um, any of those that are just kind of you know plain and you can go anywhere with them and then you can grab any of these pencils and you can either you know go in the crease and then you know blend it out or do whatever you want so before I show you the um, rest that goes with it I'll um, swatch the colors for you because what I did is I called and talked to a um, Sue Devitt counter manager one of the makeup artists and she suggested what would be good for me with blue eyes so that's what I got um, the first one is Tanzania and let's see it is a copper like a real bronzy i'd say more bronze than copper but a real bronzy color and this is one of the first things she suggested um for me for 
blue eyes and I love it. I've done it where you do like the um, kind of like smoked out all around your eyes and it looked really pretty. Now I told her I kind of wanted something I could do that, um, you know, that Kate Moss look where, you know, it's kind of effortless looking and all there is is just a little bit of, you can tell it's like a cream shadow and then black liner and then that's it. So she suggested this for me to use as a shadow and this is the Surratt and it is gorgeous. And um, gosh, this is one of my favorite ones. But you can see it is just like a shimmery, um, it's almost like private beach um, in a cream form. And it is perfect to use. I mean, you can just do it all the way up to your crease. You can just take your finger or anything and blend out the edge and then put a black liner with it and you're set. And it lasted all day. Now, the first day I did it, I think I tried it over... Oh, no. oh, I know what I did. I didn't use any. Um, she told me, I asked her, did I need to use a shadow base? And she said um, just to put like foundation, concealer, or something in powder. And that's what I did. And to me, I think it would last better and prettier with um, your shadow insurance, you know, Urban Decay, Paint Pot, whatever you want. But it still lasted a long time and it didn't crease. And I was, you know, just really happy with it. So that's the Surratt. And then this is the Shang Mai, which is not black. It's the one that is just really dark gray, almost black. And you'll see. And that's, this is what I have on today. Um, so you can see you can get um, the black look, but you can really smudge it out. Um, the stark black I just thought might be too much for me. And I was right. This is plenty dark for me. And then this, um, she said, is the prettiest blue eyeliner you know, from any brand, and it is really pretty. And I've only used this once, but it's a gorgeous um, navy blue sapphire type dark color. And it looks really pretty. This would look good. I haven't tried it like this yet. Just all over the lid and maybe just barely, like, in the lashes underneath, and then you could smear it out. So all of them come with this little sponge tip type thing, but I haven't used that because, of course, she asked me, did I have a brush? like a shadow liner brush and I have several different kinds but she was really you know talking about this and then Donna said she had this one too and um, it was I think 20 this was 23 or 27 dollars and those are 22 dollars a piece but this is the brush and first of all I love the color I just love this light blue it looks so pretty and it's so nice because I picked this out real quick among all my other brushes but this brush is so nice because you can take it and really um i don't know if these have already set but you, yeah you can do this blue and see how you can really smear it out um like for your shadow um especially let's see like the ends of this shadow or um of course i'm mixing them all now but so this is really neat because what i've been doing is just taking like smearing out my shadow and then kind of running the brush up in the into the corner of my crease and it's kind of like you can just take this brush and just, you know, maneuver it up and just get a little bit of darkness in your crease without having to really, you know, do anything that's too drastic or that you can't get off or, you know, it just becomes real subtle. And that's when I first saw um, Donna using these, she was using a color called Kenya, which I ended up ordering, which is like a dark, um, real dark brown. And that's what she did is she just kind of put a little line on there and then she just started smearing it out and just kind of ran it into her crease and it looked gorgeous. And that's kind of what the look that these are going for. If you want a real precise line, um, a real polished look, then this might not be something that you're interested in. But if you want that um, just kind of soft, smudgy, um, sexy kind of eye, that's what these are perfect for and I love them. So, here again are the colors, um, and like I said, this one is just, that Surratt is just gorgeous. Um, it looks so good just under the eye. I just can't say enough about it. And of course, I had to get the sharpener too because they are soft. They're, um, they're just so much better than their, the shade sticks are so hard. These, you don't have to warm up. You don't have to keep on and keep on. They're not waxy but they're not as um, smeary and, um, I don't know, they're not as, 
I don't know how to compare them to the NYX. They last longer and they get drier. That's what I should say. They dry out um, and they really just last. So I'm just so excited about those. Um, it's, you know, neat getting a new product because I've always wanted something like that to give me that liner but then to smudge it out real easy and for it to stay. Because I've tried um, MAC Smolder and stuff like that and it didn't work. And I've ended up making this a review and I'm sorry, but there you go. <laughs> so I got those and um, let me wash off my hands real quick. I used dishwashing liquid to get that off. But anyway, I guess I should have tried makeup remover. Um, I also got some samples um, when I got this order and I got um, the Projuvenation Reparative Facial Cream, um, two of those. But I got, you know, I'm just crazy about eye creams. Um, I've already used a whole packet of the eye cream and I love it. If you want um, an eye cream that is thick, like a lot of them are real watery and you just, it's almost like they're not, I don't know, not spreading or not sinking in. This is the thick kind. It's um, a little bit thicker even than the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye, which is one of my favorites, but I really like it. Um, I'm definitely gonna get this. And um, I don't know a whole lot about Sue Devitt's line, um, she has a good website if you want to go check it out, but all of it um, has a lot of, um, you know, like this has water lily extract. It has a bunch of natural ingredients, so, and I believe the um, pencils have hyaluronic acid or something in them that is supposed to make them be able to be more pliable, I believe. I don't know. You'll have to go read about them, but anyway, so I like that a lot, too. Um, let's see... I got um, a lipstick this week. I went to MAC to get um, some foundation for my mom. She wears the satin finish mineralized. And I ended up getting a sample of the Longwear MAC, um, the new foundation. I got NW25. And I just, I can, it's like I can't wear the NC and I can't wear the NW, but if I had to pick, I would go with the NC because I wore the NW25 yesterday and it just made my whole face so, I felt like it would just look like I had bronzer all over my face. It just gives me that kind of red tone and I would rather be too cool and then be able to bronze back up. So I didn't care for it. The formula was okay, but nothing that made me want to go buy it, so... Um, but I did get this lipstick. Um, I've heard several people talk about it, and I've been looking for a color that was um, just, you know, a, a good nude. And I've probably got something like it, but um, I've just been wanting to try it. And it's a matte, and it's um, Velvet Teddy. And that's what it looks like. And when I tried it on, it was really pretty. But I did, um, right before I tried it on, I had just put on Cherry Chapstick. And you know how thick that stuff is. So it went on really well. Um, then I wore it yesterday, and it, it did emphasize the lines on my lips a lot more. So, um, I looked at lip primers yesterday, and I noticed Urban Decay has one, and then Too Faced um, has one. Um, so, if any of you know of a really good lip liner, I've tried um, the MAC Prep and Prime before, and I liked it pretty good. I just used all of it. So, let me know what you do um, if you have, a, you know, some kind of product that you really like to do that with. And then, um, save the tags. Another thing I got this week was um, this necklace. And I'll show you my inspiration piece here. Um, this is a picture that I saw in a magazine. It's uh, Carolina Kirkova. Um, I believe she's a Victoria's Secret model. Um, but I just loved this, the look of this outfit. And I have always loved t-shirts that kind of say something. Um, not, you know, I don't like them to have like little smart comments or anything like that, but I just, I've always worn, like, um, I remember when Tommy Hilfiger got real popular and stuff, I always loved t-shirts with, like, dress pants, so when I saw this, it grabbed my attention, and, um, and then when I saw her coin necklace, I remembered that I had this one that my parents gave me, um, years ago, probably at least five or six years ago, um, and there's my phone, okay, that was my mom, <laughs> um, but anyway, where was I? So, um, I loved this look, and I know, you know, I got a few comments um, about coming up with my own style and stuff like that, and I understand your point that, you know, you know, coming up with your own style, but um, 
also, when I'm walking around today, nobody's going to know that I've looked at that picture, you know. It's just inspiration, and I guess it's fun. It's fun to me um, to find things and um, to, you know, like I've had this necklace. It's fun to find a different way, you know, to inspire you to wear things and different ways to wear things. So, um, I first of all, I love this necklace, and I love just, I love gold jewelry anyway, much more than silver. So I saw that, and so I've kind of been on a little hunt for that, for this necklace, and I found it yesterday. And what it is, is it told, it took me a little bit to figure out that it's gold pearls. It would be like in the pearl section. It's not going to be in the, I was thinking brushed gold. But um, I got this yesterday at Belk's, which is our major department store here. And um, it's the Kim Rogers brand, and it was uh, 22 And I think it was, I actually think it was on sale, but I'm not sure. I don't have the receipt. I'm not sure how much, but I just love it, and I love that it goes with this, and I could put on some more necklaces and everything, but I thought this was enough for today, and then I had already seen this t-shirt, which um, you'll see in my outfit of the day. It says, Cesse Bon, which I believe um, means it's good or all good or something like that. I'll put an annotation um, up here, but um, I, I had already seen this t-shirt, I think, last week or week before at J. Crew, And it just caught my eye because I've always loved little t-shirts like this and it was kind of dressy, and but it was uh, $30. And so, you know, I just didn't pick it right up. And um, I went in there yesterday and it was on the sale rack for $19.99. So it was perfect, it was meant to be. So I picked this up and um, so I'll show you my outfit of the day in a minute, but I liked it. I especially like because it has um, the peach right there. So I did a little bit of peach with my lips. I just thought that would be neat. And one more, the last I much showed you these in my outfit of the day, but these are the sweaters that I got last Friday at New York and Company. And um, I know um, one of my friends went and looked for these, um, or no, she looked for them online and they weren't online. So I don't know if this was one of those things that they kind of just brought in to put on sale or what, but I went in there yesterday and they were only 50% off instead of 60% off. So you never know what they're doing with their sales, but it's these um, sweaters that I've been wearing and they're perfect just for um, wearing with leggings or boots, um, jeggings, and you've seen the black one and then you've seen the um, tan one and then this is the gray one. I haven't worn it yet, but I couldn't decide which color and I just knew I'd get a lot of use out of all of them. Um, and like I said, they were $59.95 and then I got them 60% off. And um, so maybe you can find them at your New York and Company because they're nice. And they're, um, I love the big cuff on the end. And there's no belt or anything. It's just um, the buttons and they're just real simple. And that's what I like. So that is it for this week. I'm going to do a real quick outfit of the day and then I'll let you go and enjoy your week. So I've just got on um, that t-shirt I just showed you from um, J. Crew, um, And these are some pants that I got, let's see, last year. They're just the basic um, dress pants. And I got these, I think last year at Express. Oh gosh, I don't know, either Express, Limited, or New York and Company. That's usually where I get dress pants. And then I just have on these little gold flats, just mainly because they're comfortable. Um, ideally, what I'd like to wear is some strappy black sandals, but that's just not going to be practical today because I think I'm going to Walmart, and I'm doing a lot of running around um, shopping. Will's birthday is Monday, so... Accessories, I just have on some little earrings that I've had forever, and I just love. They're comfortable. Um, let's see, you know about my necklaces. Um, this is my bracelet that I got um, last year at Ann Taylor, and I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's probably still available. Um, Michael Kors watch, um, my love ring, and then this is a coin ring that my parents gave me when I was in high school. I've always loved um, like gold coin jewelry, and um, so this is special because I've had it a long time and my parents gave it to me. And then um, I'm wearing my um, Santa, is it Santa Barbara fragrance like I wear every day. And I guess that is about it. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. And um, if you have any questions about this Sue Devitt stuff, feel free to ask me because um, I think you'll really like it. 
and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.